Yeah, that's right. Hi, my name is Cock Nibbler. All my life, I've been an invincible homeless man, just trying to find a way to kill myself. But recently, I found out from three nerd gods that I am destined to complete the main storyline for season six of Skyrim for Pimps. Not too sure what that means, but it's going to take me on great adventures, and who knows what kind of characters I'll meet. This is Skyrim for Pimps, a very special kind of walkthrough. Huh, what? Where am I? Oh, I think I'm back in uh, Game Society Pimps Heaven. Welcome, Cock Nibbler. My creepy little disgusting baby. Hello, my lord. Yes, first... It's, it's good to see you. Do you always interrupt your gods? Oh, sorry, go ahead. It's fine. Go ahead. Okay. I've brought you back... It's really great to see you, though. Where are the other two? I brought you here for a purpose, my son. Yes. First, I want to congratulate you on learning to fly. You have discovered your latest ability. Yes, it's amazing. I, lo I love it. It's so fun. Yes, it's, it's wonderful. Now, the real reason you're here is I need to remind you once again. You are to complete the main storyline. Season 6 of Skyrim for Pimps must conclude with the destruction of Alduin and the dragons. Right, right. Of course, yes. Uh, main storyline. I, I, I knew that, except, uh, you know, there was this other evil, and there there was actually a couple other evils. And I mean, how do I decide which evil is the most evil and which one I should focus on? It's very difficult. But maybe you as a, you know, very clever and smart god... Shut up! Kill the dragons, yes. kill Alduin. It can't get more simple. Oh, okay. Well, and if other evil crops up, just don't worry about it. Yes. I, I see what you're saying. D do you understand what I'm telling you? Kill Alduin and the dragons. Focus on the dragons, then kill Alduin. Okay. Or okay. Goat Nibbler, whatever the fuck you call him. Co kill the kill Goat Nibbler and uh, the dragon, and and save Skyrim. Yes. Now get the fuck out of here. Okay. Thank you, my lords. Fuck off. Oh, here I go again. Oh, what the? Why are you naked? Oh, they always do that to me when I visit them. There we go. Uh, uh what the uh, hell? <laughs> Why is that werewolf fucking a cow? I think we just stumbled across one of those like, really rare nature sightings. <laughs> oh, that's disturbing. That's, that's almost more disturbing than having sex with a lizard. Yeah, uh, we should leave. It's yeah, kind of awkward. Let's get the hell out of here. I like your new underwear, though. Oh, you do? You like those? Yeah, yeah. Alright, well, I guess it's off to see Parthenax again and get busy saving Skyrim like I should have been doing this whole time. Woo! Now that I have the Elder Scroll, I can kill Goat Nibbler and save Skyrim. Right, Parthenax? Oh, by the way, I can fly now. Haha. <laughs> Flying is stupid. You know what's cool? Teleporting. That's the thing you should do. If you were a real hero, you'd just be teleporting everywhere. Anyway, do you have the Elder Scroll, you dick? Yes, I'm ready to save Skyrim. What must I do? You have to go to the Time Wound. It's this place where, you know, time blends together, and there's you can see things from the past, and everything's kind of messed up. Makes sense. But it's kind of inconvenient. Every so often, like, I walk a little too close to it, one of my toes gets really old suddenly. Okay. Really pisses me off, so yeah, go, go get rid of that shit. Yes, message understood. Destroy the time wound. Wow, this is trippy. Uh-oh, man. Be careful, your toes might be getting older. Oh god, that's a good point. I better read this Elder Scroll and m get moving on this. Well, here goes nothing. Whoa! Oh god, wow, where what the mic? What the fuck? Oh my god, what's happening? What? Who's that? Oh god, it's Goat Nibbler. No, that's not Goat Nibbler. Ah, yes, I see. It's Crunch Nibbler. Evil servant of Goat Nibbler. Oh, yeah. He was famous like 600 years ago. Who are these heroes? They are, look mighty and valiant. Oh, shit. Holy shit, that one's climbing on his head. Get off my face, you bitch. They killed me. Oh, fuck. An Elder Scroll. That guy's got an Elder Scroll. Is that the same one that I have? I, I think so, maybe. Where did he get that? Well, this was, this happened in, like, way in the past. Oh, yes, of course. Look at those valiant heroes. It took three of them to save Skyrim. Guess how many it's gonna take to save Skyrim this time, though. Uh, I think you know the answer. Oh, shit, it's Goat Nibbler. <laughs> oh, wow. Whoa! He's, hey! He's such an angry dragon. Oh, look out, you guys. He's dropping rocks on you. <laughs> Careful now. See, now, if I was him, I wouldn't have landed in front of them like that. Oh, what would they cast He just it? got Dragon Rended. Oh, so that's what Dragon Rend does. It drags yeah. them down so they can be murdered. 
That's why it's called Dragon Rend. Yes. It, it drag, drags them down. Drags them down for rending. Drag and rend. And we can turn them into boots. Look out, lady. Jump on his head. Do that kick-ass move you did before. Yeah. And that chick's gonna take him out. No question. She she doesn't even seem affected. Oh, 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 oh my god! Oh, 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 get out of his mouth. Oh, oh boy. Okay. That's not gonna be good. Wait, what's he doing? Wow. Whoa! He banished him. Wow. Hardcore. You guys couldn't even defeat him? <laughs> you just banished him? Yeah. Well, that's lame. And that's why he's here. They banished him into the future. You couldn't even finish him off? There's three of you? Yeah, how the fuck do you think you're gonna beat him now? Wow, heroes were shit back then. That's what I've learned from this. <laughs> they couldn't do anything. A naked fool here to kill me. Uh, hi. I can't be killed. I am the dragon goat nibbler. Guess what, bitch? I'm- oh fuck, where's my weapons? Uh, dude. dude. Yeah, you're naked and you have nothing. Uh, oh. God <laughs> damn it! Naked dumbass. Dude, I've, I got some advice for you. Why don't you use that dragon run shot you just learned and make it come to the ground? Dragon rend? Yeah, you saw how well that worked for those three idiots. Why would I use dragon rend? Well, what I can fu fucking fly! Oh! <laughs> yeah, yeah! <laughs> Didn't expect that, did you? Who needs dragon wind, <laughs> douchebag? Can't Fuck hurt me, you, dumbass. Crunch, crack, it's fucker. Not, it's not working. You're not hitting him. Punching me in the uh, sky doesn't Get closer, hurt. I guess. I'm using my damn fists. Punch! Yeah. Mm. Ah. Mm. Get out from underneath <laughs> me. This is weird. Yeah, that's doing it's, a lot. That's, that's doing nothing. I don't think the whole fist thing is working out you're for not, me right you're now. You're not even hitting him. I'm telling you, man, Dragon Rand is the his, is Goat Nibbler's only weakness. All right, fine. We'll use Dragon Rand. All right, get down here and fight like a wuss. Fucking Dragon Rand. There you go. Nice. I am Cock Nibbler, the true hero of Skyrim. I wish I could jump on your face and stab you like that woman did. Oh my god, this is going to take forever. I'm going to turn you into suitcases. Really valuable ones for super wealthy, like, high elves. No, you won't. I have the ancient power. I'm audible.com. You're gonna feel the pain of 180,000 deaths. Similar to how audible.com has 180,000 audiobooks that you can download and listen to anytime. The Game Society pimps told me that audible.com really likes this series. And they told me that if anyone watching this goes and signs up for audible.com right now, they can get their first book for free. That's an amazing deal. Now die, stupid! You know, actually punching you to death is really taking a long time. I think I'm actually gonna listen to an audiobook right now. Oh yeah? What audiobook? Winning the Game of Thrones. A book that tries to work out what the character's ultimate goals are in the story. Wow, well, actually that does sound really cool. I've been wanting to know what's gonna happen to Arya. Well, you'd really like this. Based on George R.R. R. Martin's previous works, it explains where the plot's probably gonna go. Oh, that is tempting. I think after I destroy you, I'll go listen to that. No, you're not. I'm punching you to death. See? You're dead. You're dead! Told you you couldn't defeat me, loser. Now I'm off to listen to that audiobook. At audible.com slash Skyrim. Hey, get back here. What the hell? I just killed you. <laughs> okay, is this some sort of joke? Is this a hoax? I'm off to audible.com slash Skyrim! This isn't fair! Parthenax! Parthenax! Parthenax, what the fuck? What just happened? Is this a prank? That was a good job for your first time. Except you let him get away. I didn't let him get away, I killed him. He was dead. I don't understand. He said I couldn't defeat him here. What kind of horseshit is that? <laughs> well, here's the thing. Very powerful dragons have to be killed in multiple places. I think that's stupid. So do I, but I don't make the rules. I just tell you what they are. Alright, so where is the other location? Well, you could go to Dragon's Reach. There's an old dragon BDSM chamber built into the town of the place. You could use that to restrain and fondle, I mean, question a rival dragon. Wait, Dragon's Reach had a BDSM chamber for dragons? Yes. This was ages ago, you understand. I used to have local musicians tie me up and slap me around a little bit. And then I would make them suck my dick. All dragons love a good blowjob from a musician. They used to play mine like a piccolo. I called it a dickolo. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Thank you, Parthenax. Don't you want to know more? I have so many tales I can tell. Nope, nope. I'm, I'm good. Dude, that was fucked up, man. That was really weird. That, that was TMI. Very, Parthenax. very TMI. Well, I guess I better head over to Whiterun then and get this BDSM chamber back in action. Yeah. Uh... Where's the Jarl? I've seen enough. What? Well, put on some clothes. I don't have any clothes. My <laughs> lords and masters took them away from me. I've got my eyes on you. Uh, okay. 
Yeah, well, you just said you didn't want to see this, but apparently you do. Take a look, lady. Yeah, keep your eyes you're on me. You're that excited about it. There, there you go. go. How's that? Mm-hmm. You like what you're looking at? Yeah. Okay, he's having his breakfast. Oh, okay, perfect. He smears beard. You're going to freeze to death. No, no, I'm fine. I'm invincible. <laughs> I need your help. I need to trap a dragon in the BDSM chambers uh, upstairs. Uh, I must have misheard you. <laughs> I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. Yep, upstairs. Sorry, but I can't do it. I just need to trap just him up there for a little bit, torture him, back. maybe tickle his genitals a little bit. I Maybe get a bard to suck his dick. What you're asking for is insane. <laughs> Impossible. Seriously, man. Goat Nibbler is back. All doing. Yes, Goat Nibbler. <laughs> but... How can we fight him? That's what I'm trying Doesn't to figure out. He's like, I gotta fight him in two locations or something. It's complicated, man. Look, man, I'm the hero of Skyrim. It's my destiny to stop Goat Nibbler by sexually torturing one of his friends. I don't know about such things. <laughs> you don't have to. That's the whole point. Just let me use your BDSM chamber. I can't risk weakening the city while we are under the threat of enemy attack. Oh, my <sighs> God. Hey, think about this, Jarl. What if you didn't have to worry about an enemy attack? Okay? Then I would be glad to help you with your mad dragon. Oh, sure. Getting sure, now you'd be happy. I see, this was all just a little ploy so he could get me to do what he wants. A peace council? Yeah. Well, that sounds boring. Well, I'll talk to Arngear, I guess. Hi, uh, uh, Jimmy, Arngear. Alduin? I'm, no, I'm not Alduin. <laughs> I'm Cocknibbler. You defeated him? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, basically, I did but apparently I need to kill him in, like, other places, too. I fear it as much. So why didn't you mention that to me, then? <laughs> <laughs> he fucking beat him up while he was naked, with his fist, with his bare hands. Yeah, I did. It was really perverse. Speaking of perverse, I need to capture a dragon and torture him sexually. We are not warriors. Such a selfish what asshole, you know, aren't you? Everything's about you. Everybody's so selfish. I know, it's just like, I, I can't do that for you because I, you know, I have morals about things and my priorities are like other things. Why can't everybody's priorities be your priorities? Yeah, they really should be. I'm trying to save Skyrim and I'm trying to get some help here and nobody's really helping me. Yarl Bobroff won't fucking help me either! I see. Both sides respect you assholes for some reason. <laughs> Maybe they'll listen. Parthenax has made the decision to help you. Parthenax is an old General sicko. I think I think he's a sicko. Oh, hold on a second. What's Whoa. going on? I'm not going to kiss him if that's what you're trying to do. <laughs> that guy's like, it's my time to pray. Yeah, I apparently. Don't give a shit. They really are selfish bastards around here. <laughs> Okay, so where did Goat Nibbler go? Did he go to some... say that he can travel into Sovereign God to devour the souls of the dead. Okay, well that would have been another good thing <laughs> to know before I fought him. Well, off I go. Don't you have like a messenger boy or something? Somebody down in the village that can do this shit? Why do I have to do it? Hey there, this is Parthenax. Don't forget to go to audible.com slash Skyrim and sign up and get a free downloadable audiobook. You get access to really cool audiobooks, and it really helps us out. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.